So you know Beyonce just dropped the announcement on those Renaissance tickets on y'all, right? So I guess that means you're going to be spending your tax refund to get your ticket. Now how perfectly timed is that? Now before you do, you might want to listen to these big three mistakes I made with my tax refund. So if you ready, let's go. The Dad Mala Show TV with Sophia Meloni. Hi everyone, it's Sophia Melanie, the debt demolisher, here to bring you the tools, tips, and tricks to help you manage your financial baggage the right way. We've all heard the latest breaking news that Beyonce announced the Renaissance Tour that's going to be coming out very soon and she is getting people on notice so that way they can get their tickets as soon as possible. But the funny thing is, is that this announcement came out in February. And we know that in the month of February, people are gearing up to start filing their taxes so that they can do what? Get their tax refunds. And we know that Beyonce knows that when it comes to getting those concerts, when it comes to her putting in the concert, people are going to come and they are going to show out and they are going to be dressed to impress, honey child. But in order to come and be dressed to impress, you got to have some tickets. I just find it so ironic that the announcement came out right before tax time, right before people start filing, because she's letting y'all know that she wants you to put her tickets in your tax refund budget. Hello. You know, I can laugh about it now because I think about all of the things that I did and how I spent my tax refund monies in the past prior to me starting my debt elimination journey, prior to me really understanding the things that I was doing with my finances, I was a person who spent uncontrollably. And when I got my tax refund, I was excited for it because you know what I did? I blew it. And I know that there are so many other people who have gone through that same instance where they look for this tax refund and they already have plans for the money before they even know how much they're going to get back. They already have plans for how they're going to spend around tax time before they even know what their refund is, if they'll even get one. Now, we all make mistakes. I have made plenty and I'm sure that you have made plenty. But what I want to encourage you inside of this video, as I share my truth around the mistakes that I made, is for you to be able to evaluate for yourself the mistakes you might have made in your past when it came to your tax refund and how you can probably think about doing something just a little bit differently this year round. So one of the biggest mistakes that I made with me receiving my tax refund was that I blew it by spending it on clothes by spending it on shoes, and by spending it on food. Yes, my refund monies will be gone so quickly because I would go shopping, I would purchase things for people, I would spend money on food, I would either go out to eat or I would treat people to dinner. I would be like balling out of control with my little couple hundred dollars, a couple thousand dollar refund checks not realizing that I could have been doing something differently with that money at that time. One thing that I know is that entertainment is very important to a lot of people's lives because a lot of us, we equate our living experiences, we equate our experiential experiences as living. And so we want to be able to do the fun things. We want to be able to engage with other people. We want to be able to travel. We want to be able to see the world. We want to be able to hang out with our friends. We want to be able to go to concerts. We want to be able to do all of these things because it feeds our experiences in the moment. Now, there is nothing wrong with feeding those experiences in the moment. I just believe now in my season that it's important to do things in moderation. Because I was a person in the past who really didn't have a true regard for resources, I was the type where I relied on credit cards because that's what I was taught. I relied on debt because that is what I was told. And so my notion was the money that I earned was supposed to pay off the debt that I had. And so if I had access to credit cards, then I would swipe it up to eat. Then I would swipe it up to buy clothes. I would swipe it up to buy shoes. I would swipe it up to spend it on other people because that is what I was taught. But in my journey to debt freedom, I was able to see that I could be doing better with what I had. I was able to see that I could be more repurposeful with what I had. 
instead of spending all of it on trying to make myself feel better or trying to make myself feel better by giving to others. So spending all of my refund money to entertain myself was a big mistake and one that I vow to never do again if I can help it. The second mistake I made with my tax refunds one year was giving it away. And when I say giving it away, I'm going to say giving it away to an ex. Oh my goodness. Now I didn't give my entire refund to my ex, but essentially how it went down was I was asked, can I borrow some money? And that amount of money was in the four digit category, might I add. And with the notion of them saying, I will pay you back, I lent the money, I gave the money. And as time went on, you know, time went on, I'm like, okay, am I going to get this money back, y'all? I ain't never get a dime of that money back. But what ended up happening was I had to replenish those resources. I had to put that money back because I actually really needed that money to pay my own stuff. Once I got my tax refund, I put that money back into the account. So even though I was able to get that refund, I wasn't really able to use it for what I needed to use it for because I had to pay myself back from the money that I lent to my ex. So my biggest mistake, and this is one thing that I know and I know now I will never do again, and that's to give a man money. I don't care who you are. You ain't getting a dime from me because I have been burned on too many occasions of people saying that they're going to pay me back or they're going to give it back. And I'm still waiting on those coins. But I firmly believe not to hold on to that energy for too long because I know that you reap what you sow. And if I give from a space of giving to help and giving from the promise of you saying that you're going to pay me back and you don't, then that just goes to show for me that I can't trust your word in that regard. And if you ever ask me for something again, the answer is going to be absolutely no, because you still haven't paid me back for the last thing that you've asked for me. But I know with my exes, I don't talk to them anymore. So they wouldn't have any reason to contact me for, for whatever reason. So I don't have any expectation of getting that back. But I've learned to just let that go and trust that God will replenish me and my account for giving from a space of purity, forgiving from the space of wanting to help, forgiving from the space of wanting to be supportive. And I know when you are someone who is extremely giving, you could ultimately be taken advantage of because people like to take advantage of people's kindness. People know how to pose a question or say things to people under the assumption that they're going to automatically give something to you or offer it to you. I've done that way too many times in my life. And the only time now in this season that I ever give is when I feel unction and ushered to by the Lord. So if I'm not moved to give to you, then it's just not meant for me to give to you in that moment. And I'm not going to do it because I'm not going to be disobedient to the spirit because I've learned my lesson way too many times around being taken advantage of financially. So if there's anything that I can share with you from this mistake, that is... Don't give money to your boyfriends. Don't give money to people who you're dating. Don't give money to any man for that matter if you aren't led to do so. The third mistake I made with my tax refund is paying off my credit cards. Now, you guys may say, well, why was this a mistake if it's actually helping you get rid of your debt? The reason why it was a mistake was because I had no control over how much I was charging on my credit cards way back when. So during the Bet Your Spending Challenge, I'll link one of the videos right here. I talked about how I spent over $5,000 on one Christmas season for people who don't even talk to me anymore this day. And when I think about how I maxed out my credit cards to spend on these Christmas gifts, I had to essentially use my tax refund to pay it back or to pay it down, because in some cases, my tax refund wasn't even enough to cover what my credit card bills were in full for that particular month. So looking back at how I spent my refund and how I had to use it to pay off my credit cards, my credit card purchases 
weren't wise because I was using them to either spend on others. I was using it to either spend on convenience food. I was using it to spend on myself. I was just frivolous with it, which was completely dysfunctional from a financial standpoint. And because I had to use my tax refund to pay off these credit cards that I kept running up, that showed me that I was wasting the money. Again, when it comes to your tax refunds, there's multiple things that you can do to repurpose it, to use it in a way where it can benefit you the most. But you want to be mindful if you're going to be using it to pay down your debt, are you going to run back up that same debt? Because if you're going to end up running back up that same debt, then that money that you're using to pay off it is not changing the behavior and it's not changing your financial situation. Because now you've just put yourself back into the deficit on your credit card. And now you put yourself in a cycle in which you're now going to have to be paying interest on that credit card if you can't pay it in full by the ending of the month. And that defeats the whole purpose of you using the tax refund to pay it off in the first place. If that was the case, you could have took that tax refund, put it in a vehicle where it could generate a positive ROI, which is a return on investment, and then use the return on investments to pay down the credit cards. Now, again, there will be some offsets because the interest rates will be higher on the credit cards, more than likely what it would be on the vehicle that you choose to invest it in order to get that ROI. But you want to look at the pros and cons between both of these things. If you are wanting to pay down your debt, if you are using a lump sum of money to pay down your debt, you want to make sure that whatever you're paying off, that you are not reigniting or reestablishing the debt. Because if that was the case, why did you pay it off in the first place? So that was the notion that I was in. Every cycle, every time I got a huge lump sum of money, I took it to pay down the credit cards, but I kept running the credit cards back up. I kept running the credit cards back up. And that's where you realize that you have a behavior that you now have to adjust. And by you realizing that you have a behavior that you have to adjust, that is when the true change will happen. And you can really be able to maximize the refunds that you have to use it in a more beneficial purpose. So before you start getting into the plans for your tax refunds, whether it be for you to buy these Beyonce tickets, whether it be for you to pay off credit cards, whether it be for you to pay down loans, whether it be however you want to use it, I want you to really be strategic to think about what can you really do with this money that will benefit you down the line. If you think about it with those lenses on, it will really help you to be more strategic around how you use the money and what will happen after you use the money. So in the videos to come on the Debt Demolisher TV, I'm going to be sharing some tips on how you can best utilize your tax refunds. So I want you to be on the lookout for that. If you're new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe, make sure that you also like, and make sure that you also comment to let me know that you're here inside of the room. The goal of this channel is to keep you educated financially, but it's also to get you one step closer to your financial success. So like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, remember, your financial prosperity awaits you, and so does your financial sanity. You already know what I'm gonna tell you to do, and that's what? Get to work. All right, guys. See you next time. Bye. The Dead Demolisher TV with Sophia Mello.